Uh, we are back with more of today on this Booze Day Tuesday. And here alongside me is the wonderful Jenna Bush Hager, who's filling in while Kathy Lee is taking a few days in the sun. That's right. She's the smart one. <laughs> Even though it's one of those days where we just wish we could cuddle up with mm -hmm. a log and a fire and wrap up in a cozy blanket. Like you it. could use a blanket. Yes. It's a little cold right now. Uh -huh. And wait for the snowstorm. All right. And since fireplaces and electric heaters are getting their fair share of use this winter, we brought in home improvement expert and host of Home Wizards, Eric Stromer. He's here to tell you the best ways to keep warm and safe without over spending. Hey, I'm freezing. Eric. It's freezing. Oh, 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 my goodness. Yeah, I know, right? I love talk it. to us because you know what? When you have a fire, you always think to yourself, I'm going to let's heat up the house and yeah. throw a few logs on. But is that a great way safe. to warm it up? Yeah, and you have to be very careful. The first thing I always talk about is understand how the flu works. The flu is the device in the chimney that opens and closes okay. and allows the smoke to, to come out. Up. So the way to check if it's working, you put a flashlight up, you get in there and you shine. If you see daylight, it's open. And then you know that position so you can have it can open you when you start light, a fire. like a piece of paper and see if the smoke goes you out? You can do that also. Oh, yeah, That's a I've good idea. People, I've seen people do that before. Exactly. And then also you want to check with some fireplace maintenance once a year. Make sure there's not a creosote buildup because that right. can set with the, the chimney. chimney on and fire. Just to get to logs, yeah. you, there's these kinds of logs that Hoda goes for that are easy. easy. Yes. Easy there there or... are companies now that make logs where they light very easily. They're all mm -hmm. made of organic materials. They actually produce less toxins into the wow. atmosphere, mm -hmm. so it's kind of a great thing okay. to use. Yeah. And then hardwood, you want it really hard and seasoned. You want things like walnut, oak. The hardwoods burn much better, more efficiently if it's, if it's dried mm -hmm. out and seasoned. One of the things I get worried about with the fire is that sparks and stuff yeah. come yes. flying out. I've seen the, the glass ones, and then you've seen the, the netting ones. What yeah. are the, like what this is exactly. right here, the covers, the fire This is a perfect example. Cover? A fire screen keeps fire the screen. embers from bursting out and potentially setting fire to the floor or the mm -hmm. carpeting. Also, about the, the glass doors, you leave those open when the fire is on, then when it's dying down, you close them. Again, it keeps the heat in the house, because mm -hmm. otherwise the fireplace is really inefficient, sucks all the, the mm -hmm. heat out of the house. Which is how you start? What is all this? Well, this is a great example a of a fire, right? Mm -hmm. So you can do newspaper underneath and then some dry season hardwood right on top and kindling right below, and it gives you the ability to start quickly and start that fire looking just like we see mm -hmm. behind us. Wish we had now it's a little cold. It's all real. Yeah. Okay. And then also when lighting fires, I want you to always consider using longer mm -hmm. lighters, longer fireplace matches to kind of get away from, from the so fire you're so, so you're not so close and you set your eye. Get in there. Mm -hmm. no. the you can, but it's risky. You can do that. That'd <laughs> be fun. Is that the Just way you want to do it? How yeah. I do it. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we should yes. light a fire it's with like Hoda. Crafts, right? okay. And then, Not and then, safe. and then, gas fireplaces. They usually come with a, a pipe that comes from the wall and uh, provides utility and gas mm -hmm. from the company. It shoots out these little holes, and then a, a lot of people just light these this open exposed gas and that's when it goes oh, and that's when the eyebrows good, go. Not a good idea. Yeah, you want to definitely have a, a device that, that sparks and then it lights that way rather Inside. than you manually lighting yeah, it. Yeah, nobody no. wants to get their eyebrows blown. No, they don't. <laughs> We like our eyebrows. This is the Pellet. a what beautiful is... example of a of a hard uh, wood burning stove. This is like an old mm -hmm. pot belly stove, but it's modernized. Right. And this company makes a great design, so it's fashion forward, fits in any design Wait scheme, but it radiates heat like crazy. And what this are those? Looks now like this deer food. This is are, another example of a way to of, to heat. It's it's called pellets, and and pellets are, are compressed hardwoods that are oh. just li like this exactly. And then there's an auger system inside one of these fireplaces that. De deposits it when it needs mm -hmm. it, and then it burns really efficiently mm -hmm. and cleanly. Are most of the time, are these yeah. popular, by the way? These are really popular, especially here in the Northeast, oh, really? because it's re Have it just radiates heat. Have you ever no, seen one? I did. I, first, I've seen yeah. it right now. Okay, yeah. this is important for Jenna. Yeah. I have a, a, a loftish apartment, yes. right? And we have a lot of space heaters because it's very cold, including one in my baby's room. Yeah. So I got the note last night, and I had to take a lot of deep breaths yes. because I'm afraid yeah. that I, I'm, you know, these are very dangerous. They're it's very dangerous if they're close to combustible materials. Now, if they tumble over, they definitely stop, and they won't be heating All anymore. All do. All of them do. Here's what you need to do. Get a ceiling fan okay. and move that he heated oh, air around the apartment okay. because that'll just take it from one location to another, especially up. Heat rises. You want to get that heat coming so back down again. Some, okay, so I, so I need to put so a we, fan a bunch in of fans. my frozen there you apartment. Go. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you for your help. That was great. Yes. All right. But anyway. you like these types. I, I love This is an infrared heater and yeah. this is a ceramic heater. Okay. They're both fantastic. Right. They've got remotes on them. Awesome. Thank you. Thank for you very, very much. Sweet and handsome man. Yeah.